God wants to make beautiful things and build beautiful things out of the rubble that is our life. He wants to take your story, the story of that hurt, that pain, and that chaos, and He wants to to use that story of how He brought you through what you were going through and help others to meet the same victory that He helped you meet. Thanks for joining us for yet another episode of Wisdom for Wednesdays. We know it can be a long, long stretch between Sunday to Sunday, so we're hoping this Wednesday wisdom will be helpful in getting you through the week. God bless you, and let's watch this together. Second Corinthians 1 3. What a wonderful God we have. He is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the source of every mercy, and the one who so wonderfully comforts and strengthens us in our hardships and trials. Now here's here's the point of what we were just talking about. He does all of this. And why does he do this? Don't miss this, please. Jeff, hear this too. Don't miss it. So that when others are troubled, needing our sympathy and encouragement, we can pass on to them the same help and comfort God has given to us. Isn't that beautiful? God wants to make beautiful things and build beautiful things out of the rubble that is our life. He wants to take your story, the story of that hurt, that pain, and that chaos, and He wants to to use that story of how He brought you through what you were going through and help others to meet the same victory that He helped you meet. We also must be willing to help others. Uh, And while the text isn't explicit uh, in the number of people that helped these guys, it's my belief that there were four guys and then the fifth who was being helped, one for each corner of the bed. And if one of them was missing, it could have been bad news, right? So it took a team, a team of people. Now for this next part, I want you to engage your imagination. I want you to place yourself in this story and imagine, just imagine, that you are the person on the mat. You're the paraplegic. You're the one on the mat looking up. And your whole life, you've been the one on your back looking up, needing help from other people. And you've heard that Jesus Christ has come to town. And your heart gets excited and it skips a beat. And then you remember, wait a minute. Yes, Jesus is here, but I have no way to get to him. You know that the only way you will ever find your way into the presence of Jesus is if someone else takes you. And friends, you need to know there are people in your lives at this very moment and the only way they are going to meet Jesus Christ is if you make the introduction. I know it's cliche, but you may be the only Jesus some people in your life will ever meet. They may need you to walk them into a relationship with Jesus. When Jesus looks at this world, he looks at the lost, the hurting, the dying, the lonely. He looks around and he says, whom shall I send? Who will be my church? Who will be my healing presence? Who will be my body of compassion and mercy and forgiveness instead of being the judge? I promise you, if if you have that willing heart, God will send people into your path. And He'll give you opportunities to change the world one person at a time. Hey, thanks for watching yet another episode. We're so glad that you were with us. If this was a blessing to you, please feel free to share it with others so that they can feel blessed as well. Thanks again, and God bless.